But, uh, Secretary, maybe it shouldn't maybe it shouldn't get bogged down in, in saying are these you know are it going to create the right kind of jobs? Are we going to make sure the unions are taken care of and that we don't have any negotiations for you know for for contracting it out? Who does it? Isn't the the, the priority is getting the bridges fixed and the and the roads built? I mean, it's nice to get. It's nice to get jobs as part of it, and that's part of that. It's always been the Democratic mantra that it's a job creator. Private sector probably a better place to create jobs, but uh, but it, I mean we do want the infrastructure fixed too, right? I mean, and we get bogged down in all this the arguing about you know whether it's a tax cut or whether it's not, and it just seems like it's self defeating, well, and we're going to end up with nothing built. Maybe that's why nothing got built for the last eight I years. I mean, you know, historically we've been able to build roads and bridges, do so in a bipartisan fashion, create good middle class jobs. I was out uh, at a military base in the Pacific Northwest recently when I was labor secretary. It was a it was a project labor agreement. The project was building a very sensitive uh, infrastructure item on that base. It was coming in under budget and on schedule in partnership with the Defense Department, with the labor uh, with with labor uh, support, and it was creating jobs. It was doing everything you want to see done. Infrastructure done right can be win-win. Right. Unfortunately, we have there, there's some folks that are, frankly, on an ideological mission. I do not want to have any ability for someone to get a prevailing wage in a job. The vice president led the effort when he was the governor of uh, Indiana to repeal prevailing wage. I think that's bad public policy. We don't want to create... Uh, minimum wage construction jobs, and so, and we don't need to. That's that's the bottom Can line. Can I ask you about the DNC 